another kind of market is not seeing those problems. Grocery stores dealing with shoppers flooding stores. News 5's Tracy Carlos live at Giant Eagle in Strongsville. That store trying to calm fears. Tracy. Yeah, Frank and Mike, you know, the message here is don't panic. The lines at the store are not very long. They have inventory and they are taking safety precautions. COVID-19 is to blame for bulk buying, empty shelves, and panic purchases. Giant Eagle's Market District in Strongsville is the second stop for Pam Brown, who is trying to stock up before she can hunker down. I expected to find nothing like I did at the other store, but they had plenty. The food frenzy caused by the coronavirus has stripped shelves of paper products, bottled water, and essentials like milk and bread. Low inventory is driving fears of not enough essentials, but the grocery giant says those fears are not warranted. We understand that. We have those products. It's just a matter of getting them from our warehouse locations into our stores. The company says trucks are moving products to stores every day. There could be a delay, but that delay is likely hours, not days. The stores are opening later and closing earlier to give workers time to restock and make sure the stores are clean and sanitized. Wiping down freezer door handles, scanners and touch pads, everything touched by shoppers. Giant Eagle offers curbside express, home delivery and curbside pickup now, but the company hinted more options for the elderly and people with compromised immune systems may be coming. But we are working on plans to figure out if there are any more creative solutions that we can offer to the compromised individuals in the community. Now, store hours are now from 7 in the morning until 10 in the evening to allow those workers time to restock and clean the stores. In Strongsville, Tracy Carlos, News 5.